All right, Chris, thank you. Well, a new restaurant with a unique take on food has opened just north of Detroit. Our Rachel McCrary joins us now with the chef from Sips Gastro Pub. Sips Gastro Pub features classic comfort food with a modern spin. Today, executive chef Jason Shaper is here with us making quinoa and a salmon dish. So let's see how to make this, Jason. Okay, so what we have here mm -hmm. is our Faroe Island salmon. And that's uh, really, is that one of your signature dishes at uh, your restaurant? Yes, it is. The salmon comes from the Faroe Islands. It's located between Norway and Iceland. And what are you putting on that? This is just salt and white pepper mix. So we're going to pat it dry. It looks delicious. You just put it, how hot do you get the pan? Uh, as hot as possible without the oil actually smoking. So. A little olive oil. So tell us about Sips. How is it? Uh, what makes it different than other restaurants? Well, Sips is a gastropub. Mm -hmm. One. So we focus on fresh food, ingredients, um, the quality of service, the uh, cocktails that we serve. They're all classic. Everything is scratch made. Um, the food that we get in is, it's all fresh. So how do you come up with the recipes? Well, the recipes are a collaboration between my team and myself, along with input from the owners. Uh, we like to take ideas and trends, what's new, what people like, some of the stuff that we've been doing, seeing, eating. Mm -hmm. um, all these different things kind of go into the dishes that we're making. Okay, great. And uh, you guys have wine dinners and specials coming up, is that right? Yes, we do. Uh, we're going to have some wine dinners that we'll be selling tickets for, um, some preset menus, um, kind of special events for holidays uh -huh. and whatnot that we'll be doing different things for. That's fun. And what do you have in this pan? This pan over here is uh, red quinoa with oh. apricot. Oh. Uh, we like to cook it down, get some apricot in it, a little bit of peach schnapps, and that's what we put our salmon on. So people can even make that at home? Yes, they can. It's very easy to make. That would be so good. And tell me about uh, the, your drinks. Do you have any specials on those? Our drinks, we feature many craft beers. Uh, we have about 20 beers on tap and close to 60 beers on bottle. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of Michigan beers, as well as liquors from Michigan, whiskeys, vodkas. Um, we try and stick with as much Michigan-made products as we can. And what are your hours and where, where are you located exactly? We are located at 27 in Van Dyke. Our hours currently we are closed Mondays, Tuesday through Thursday. We are open 5 p.m. until 10 p.m. And on the weekends we open 4 p.m. until midnight. And then the bar will stay up until 2. Sundays we open at 4 and we close at 10 p.m. Okay. Well, we'll give it a turn. As you see, we have a nice sear on it. Uh, we'll cook the bottom, bring it up to whatever temperature is desired. Uh, okay. I shoot for medium, personally, for myself. Some people like to eat it rare. Some people like it well done. So what we're going to do now is we'll pull the salmon out. And then you have all your garnishes over there. Exactly. And what are, what are the garnishes exactly? Well, right here, we have some chopped parsley, uh -huh. um, baby dill, and this is some microgreens. There's a mix of red oak leaf, micro basil, oregano, uh, some flowers, um, all edible. Mm -hmm. I use them for s different purposes. Here's a cider barbecue glaze. Uh, we're going to just simply coat the top of the salmon lightly. Oh, that looks delicious. And so easy to make, so quick. And then with the torch, you know, lightly hit it to finish. And what if you don't have a torch at home? What do you use? I mean, you can finish this in an oven. If you glaze it, your oven is going to finish it. A broiler, um, any setting like that on an oven will give it a nice little caramelization. And then you just sprinkle the garnishes on the top and it's all done? Absolutely. Cool. And for more information and to get the recipe, just head to our website, WXYZ.com, and click on the Scene on 7 section. All right. Thank you, Rachel.